All right, welcome back. It's uh, after t turn number 10 here, and I just wanted to review kind of how we do our bookkeeping at the end of the mission to get ready for the next mission. So just as a reminder, our mission objectives for this uh, mission were to occupy and clear of enemy forces the primary and secondary objectives, and also to clear rows one and two of any enemy forces. So as we talked about last turn, I did secure both objectives one and objectives two. Secure means that I've got, um, they're cleared and occupied by friendly forces. And I also cleared all of rows one and two of all German units as well as any PC markers. PC markers also count for that, so you gotta have those cleared in order to count them for the mission. With that confirmed, we're gonna go ahead and move into figuring out our experience points for this mission. So I've gone ahead and made a copy of the um, page from the briefing book so I can tally this up. So I did secure the primary objective, so that's worth five points. I secured the secondary objective, so that's worth four points. Now I messed up on that last turn and moved my entire second platoon forward, uh, leaving the Orchard Grove, which was our attack position, without any friendly troops in it, so I did not secure that card. I cleared it, but didn't secure it, but I don't get the points there for that. However, I did clear all of the uh, middle row, if you remember that had the PCA markers on it, so I get two points for each of those. I would not be able to double count those. If I'd actually secured the att attack position card, I would not have counted that card in here. Okay. I cleared all four of the C markers, as well as the two additional B markers in row four. So that's a total of six B or C markers that I can claim. I did not capture any enemy prisoners. However, I did capture two enemy casualties. And so I get to claim those. I also performed a successful grenade attack once. So I get a point for that. I did not complete any asterisk HQ events. So no points there. And I did successfully evacuate one friendly casualty from the map board, and so I get a point for that. We add all that up, we get 9, 17, 23, 25, 26, 27 victory po or experience points to spend on refitting our units. So let's figure out how to do that. Okay, so this is what our company looked like at the end of the game. Uh, you can tell from the blanks that we lost the first squad of the first platoon and the first and third squads of the third platoon. You can also see that the second squad of the third platoon is down a step. Other than that, all of our units are intact. We had a total of six lats, which we've collected and put down at the bottom. We also had f a total of four casualties, three that were left on the board plus the one we successfully evacuated. Of those, you can see now which ones are going to be considered green as we go into this. You can see that, uh, again, all five of our leaders, except for the first sergeant, are green. Um, all of the lats are going to come back into the uh, company as green as well. Now, what we're going to do with those lats is we're going to take two each of those uh, steps, the two uh, single step lats, and go ahead and reconstitute our three squads. So each of those is gonna become a two-step squad. And again, those squads are gonna be green. So we've got now our five green leaders plus uh, two-step squads that are green. Uh, the first of the first, first of the third, third of the third are all green and two steps. So we had 27 victory points that we earned during that, or experience points that we earned during that mission. So what we get to do now is apply these experience points to upgrade our uh, squads and uh, units. Um, it cost one experience point to move one step from green to line, and it costs three experience points to move one step from line to veteran. So what we're gonna do is our goal here is to basically get all of our um, leaders upgraded and then we'll get as far as we can with upgrading these squads and other units as well. So here's how we're gonna apply those um, experience points. You can see that I've applied one experience point to each of the leaders, uh, the green leaders. That's gonna bring them up to line. I've um, gone ahead and applied two points to move the green two-step squads up to line as well. So there's still two steps, but now they're uh, both steps are at line. 
I then spent three experience points to move the line first sergeant up to a veteran. I've also done that with the 50 cal. I've moved the first weapons and second weapons bazookas um, up from line to veteran as well. And then over here on the second of the third, which was the intact second platoon, or second squad of the third platoon, I've gone ahead and spent the three points to upgrade one of the two line steps to a veteran. And the reason I did that is that I'm going to be able to take these four casualty steps and for every four casualty steps that you have you can bring back one veteran step. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those that, that one veteran step and I'm going to add that to the second and the third and that's going to give me two veteran steps plus the line steps and the averaging in fields of fire work such that the two veterans plus a line means that that squad is going to end up being a veteran squad once we get those casualties figured in. So now second and the third is um, uh, moved up to a fourth strength squad, three steps, and it's veteran as well. Now if you do the math you're going to see that I've only actually spent 26 points here. Um, that's going to happen sometimes. There's no way for me really to use that 27th um, experience points. So I do lose that um, going into the next mission. I don't get to keep that for the end of mission two. So now that I've applied all of my experience points, now I can go and dip into the uh, uh, regimental replacement pool. I get up to six steps of green replacements. Again, I have no opportunity to upgrade those. Um, I only need three of those steps because right now I've only got three squads that are down one step each. And again, right now, since I was able to upgrade those to line, I have two line steps plus a green step. That's going to make a line platoon. I'm sorry, a line squad. So the net result of all of that is that I'm going to end up with a full company, completely restored. Um, all of my leaders are at line now, except for my first sergeant, who's been moved up to veteran. Um, all of my squads are at line, with the exception of the 2-3, which has moved up to veteran. And then I've got a couple of individual uh, step units, the 50 cal and two of the bazooka teams that have moved up to veteran status as well. And my company is now re-equipped and ready to move on to mission number two. Well, that's it. If you've been watching all along, I sure do appreciate it. Uh, the, the positive feedback I received on Board Game Geek has been just phenomenal. Um, had I Frankly, had I known how much work this was going to be when I started this project, I probably wouldn't have taken it on. Um, but certainly getting uh, just the, the great feedback and responses from users on Board Game Geek that have uh, watched the videos and hopefully learned something from it has just been a, a real motivator for me. So thanks so much for participating that way. I want to say a special thank you to uh, Mark uh, Zredder. I'm going to probably screw that up, but Zredder on uh, Board Game Geek who was phenomenal in providing me the, uh, the feedback I needed to hopefully get most of the rules correct. Um, if you learned anything from the game, frankly, you ought to be thanking him and not me. Um, also want to thank uh, Tony, who did all the uh, graphics for me. The um, uh, uh, title slides that you saw were his work, and frankly, I thought really captured the, uh, the imagery that I was going for just far better than I uh, could have done. So thanks a bunch to him as well. Um, Again, thanks to all of you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I learned a lot doing the videos. So hopefully you got something out of it too. Thanks a bunch.